What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I am David Got Kicks. Welcome back to David Got Vlogs. Currently vlogging on my Canon EOS R 24 to 70 mil lens and this thing is heavy. I think I mentioned it in one of the last videos. It's literally a workout every time I hold this camera. First things first, thank you guys for clicking onto another video. I really do appreciate it. Second thing second, the closet sale is live and I still have a bunch of items on there. A lot of sneakers have sold but I still have a bunch of other items left and I'm just trying to get rid of everything. So if you see something on there that you like, I'm only gonna leave these items on for like another week. No, 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 not even another week. Probably by the end of this week, I will just remove all these items and then I'll just end up donating all the items. I just wanna get rid of it. Some items I'll keep, but a lot of the cheap stuff I'll just give away. So, HypeBeastRust.com, link will be in the description and you can click on the closet sale tab. Speaking of HypeBeastRust.com, I finally got myself a Shopify counter. And it counts all of your orders in real time. You can have it display your orders, you can have it display your monthly revenue, you can have it display something else that I forgot. But right now I have it set on orders. So I'm so close to hitting 10,000 orders. And this is in a matter of three to four years since I've had the website. But I got lucky because I gifted Sneakerhead in the Bay one of these Shopify counters for Christmas. And since I bought one in the past, Shopify sent me a voucher. So I pretty much got it for free. Or when I think about it, it's like, okay, if I paid this for Alex's, then I cut that in half, I divided that in two, and that's how much I paid for mine and his. So I feel good. So if I'm talking, I'm showing you guys this right now, and I happen to get an order. The 45 will turn into a 40. Six and then the numbers will flip super cool if I really wanted to reach 10,000 I could r literally draft 355 orders myself and then I'll reach 10,000, but that's no fun. That's like cheating That's like racing someone and then you cut across the field and finish first It's like okay you won, but did you really win? You're only cheating yourself remember that so yeah, I'm gonna document this as we go until we reach 10,000. But this is my setup right here. I still have to work on it and I gotta like clean this up a little because I just finished fulfilling a bunch of orders. This is kind of a mess, but I gotta move some of this stuff. I remember when the pandas used to be the coolest dunks out there. Everybody wanted them. And I'm sure there's still a good amount of people that want them, but you just see them everywhere now. Now they're like one of the most hated sneakers of all time. Personally, I still wear mine all the time. I wear them as beaters. They literally match with everything. And I'm not gonna lie, I paid way over retail for these. I paid over 300 for this pair. Do I feel bad that they restock like 10 times? I don't because during that time they weren't restocking and that's what they were going for at the moment. I wanted the pair at that moment. I wore them to Disneyland. So during that time I was happy I had them. Now you can honestly walk into a Nike store and pick them up if you're lucky sometimes. But I'm not complaining. I'm happy and I still wear them all the time. <laughs> Wait, don't move. You have something on your face. I do. Oh wait, that's just your face! So beautiful. Come here. <laughs> Alright, so Alex is in the building. He just picked up a pair of Crocs for a friend. <laughs> we all know what that means. A shoddy, a shoddy friend. <laughs> so now he's in Hype Star Rust HQ and he's gonna pick out some charms. So what is she into? Like, what does he, she, they like? Oh. Do I? No, I am actually sold out. I might be able to find one though. Wait, wait, really? Yeah. No. I have backwoods. <laughs> like backwoods? No. <laughs> this is like my ghetto section. So I have like bandanas here. I have like guns, cash money, Bitcoin. Why do you have dead corgis? What is this? It's asking for a belly rub. What is this, dude? Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, does she like anime? What does she like? Well, she likes anime. Okay, perfect. We have our anime section here and here. What kind of anime? So you have No Face, that's a really popular oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. one. Yeah, 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 she likes that. Okay, cool. You want the, the, you want the No Face hearts? Yeah, I'll do the hearts. Got you. Oh yeah, it's saucy. Yes. Let's see, what else, what else? We got Demon Slayer, Naruto. Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer. Nezuko. Nezuko! Got you. Oh yeah. We also have Nezuko kicking. She looks so dark. She just got a little tan. She's a little dark here. <laughs> Does she like Boba? I like boba. You like boba. So... So she has to like boba. This is what I always tell people whenever they come by Hypey Swords HQ. No one ever comes, but why don't you get charms that you like, so whenever she looks down at the charms, she thinks of you. You have a Glock? <laughs> Actually, yeah. San Jose ones. Yeah. You have Eastside San Jose. <laughs> Makeup palette, 
a purse, some heels. We got red Louis Vuittons. We got a rose. Powerpuff Girls. We got some cartoons. What you need, dog? Ariana Grande, Drake. Damn. <laughs> all right, so these are all the Croc charms Alex picked. Are you satisfied? Mm hmm. And where can they pick these Croc charms up? HiBeastsRS.com. Did I say it right? You did. Okay, that's gonna be 50. <laughs> huh? Kiss me. <laughs> Kiss me for the payment right now. Kiss me for the payment <laughs> right now. Or else I'm not giving you my consent to put it in. Okay. You can't be in the video and it can't be in me. That's what I thought. <laughs> Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so if you guys don't know what to get your significant other, your he, she, them, they, it, <laughs> then I suggest getting some croc charms, because we have a bunch of croc charms on the website, over <clears throat> 1,900, to choose from hypeysrs.com. 1,900. Yeah. Wow. Go shop. We're in Mexico. You overslept, dude. Over here? <laughs> Wait, we're not in the US? No. Hey. Do you have your passport? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in the back like this? Uh, just thinking about life, you know? Yeah. yeah. Are we gonna do a 24 hour challenge in here? Yeah, we should. No, for real. We should. Comment. Do no. people still watch your videos? No, they don't. All right, I'll comment. Only the real ones watch the video. So I'll comment. Okay. Okay. And then we'll do a 24-hour challenge? Yeah. A whole day. No, like, for real. How are you going to fulfill orders? I'll take a day off. No, bring your label printer, and I'll buy a generator. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that'd be sick. I'm down. They're like, surprise. The 2023s come with TVs. <laughs> but nobody knows. You guys get risk. You buy one. So for those of you that are wondering what the different types of tints there are, there's 5%. 15, 20, 30, 35, and 50. This is Alex's new Tesla Model 3, and he's getting his car tinted by the homie OJ Tint Studios. He's the same person that tinted my car, did an amazing job. I saw a few scratches, but I fixed it myself. He didn't even hear that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, Alex is going with 5% all around. So obviously, this is my RAV4, and the first thing that I ever did to the car was tint the car. So Omar reached out to me, and he ended up tinting the car. Super nice dude, chill dude out here in the Milpitas area. Come to Omar, and he'll do you right. I don't have my windshield tinted, but I think I want to come back eventually and maybe do like a 20 or 30%. But yeah, there's still so much that I want to do to this if you guys have been watching the channel for a while. If you remembered, I Plasti dipped the RAV4 and the Toyota emblem, and it's still hanging on pretty good. Even after washing the car, Classy Dip still hanging on pretty good. So, you're getting your car tinted right now. Yes. What's next? Yeah, do you plan on doing anything to it? Because obviously you had a Tesla before. I'm gonna try to keep it stock, just like the LS. But I, I plan on doing something in the future, but nothing too crazy. It might just like, I gotta ease my way in. Like right now it's just tint, you know? One week later, Alex is gonna be like, all right, so I just ordered bags, wheels, new wrap. I know, I know. It's cool. It's cool driving right now. I like the functionality. Once you put like stretch tires on there or do something crazy with the suspension, it's kind of it's a pain to drive. People like this for now. Let's see how long Alex will keep his car stock. You guys believe in me? I don't. You don't believe in me? Uh, I give you maybe like six months. Okay, that's, that, that's, that's a, a decent amount of time. Yeah, that is. The LS hasn't even been six months, but no. I haven't done anything to it. That's right. Yo, crazy thing. Look at this lens. This is my old vlogging lens. This is the 10 to 18 and I have it on the Canon EOS R. I forgot that this is compatible because I do have the EF adapter. Yo, but I don't know. The quality is 
feel like it's lacking. I feel like it could be a little better. It's not as heavy as before. It doesn't really feel like an arm workout. But also, I think I forgot to mention that that was our first time visiting Omar's tent workspace. So before he was tending out of his garage, now he officially has his own warehouse where he tents out of. And that's just so dope to see. So Omar, if you're watching this, congratulations. Super proud of you, even though I've already told you. But I'll tell you again because I care. And it's also dope because before we didn't really have a place where I said I was gonna wrap my roof and the pillars. I think at first we were gonna do it in Omar's garage at his place. Now that he has a warehouse, so much more space. And like I said, I just have to make the time. Hopefully next week, Alex is in Hawaii and he's gone for a little over a week. So if I have time next week, I might just bust it out. Cause I think I can do the pillars on my own or separately. But as long as I have the roof, that way the roof rack can get installed. That's that's all I really need. That's all. That's it. But yeah, I promise you guys, it's gonna be worth it. Once you guys see the roof rack and some other accessories that I'm gonna add to it, you guys will not be disappointed. One more announcement. This Saturday, I will be at the Undead Stock event. I will be vending candles, croc charms, basketball planners, sneaker planners, and doormats. Literally everything you guys have seen me work on throughout the vlogs, I will be vending there. I'll post up a flyer right here. It is gonna be in Hayward. So if you guys have time to make it out, that would be dope to see you guys come through, say what's up. It's gonna be a sneaker event so you guys can bring shoes to buy, sell, trade. I'll have my display set up. I'll have a bunch of doormats available. So that's pretty much what I've been working on this week, just trying to prepare for everything but anyways that's gonna wrap up today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching the video if you guys have made it this far right now would be the time to hit the like button and if you have fingers comment something on this video that way i know they're not just npcs or bots watching this video but yeah it is your boy david got case i'll talk to you guys later for the next video peace